What's up, everybody? It's your boy JT and Nini. Let's get into the episode. Welcome to the Pillow Talking Podcast. It's your boy JT and Nini, and we are back. We have our new set, which happens to be a bed. Still, <laughs> still, we're still, you know, the podcast that shoots in the bed. <laughs> but you know, when you break your bed, yeah, you break your set, and yeah. um, there's a lot of bed breaking going on. Not in that way. <laughs> Well, I mean, you are kind of. I am pregnant, but it looks <laughs> what it looks may be deceiving. Not in that way. No, our bed broke because, <laughs> um, well, we one, I tackled the kids yeah. a lot. All we wrestle time. a lot on the bed. Mm-hmm. Um, one, two, we moved and we moved fast. Yeah, we and we moved to a place that well, we used to have carpet, so it was steady. But we moved to like hardwood floors. And we had a let's just be real. When we first got together. We just bought a very cheap bed. <laughs> I think we bought a the cute, cheapest. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> cheapest one bed that looks had. nice, but the cheapest one. Like, it had the little skinny wood slats. Like, don't. Like, don't that's ever one buy thing that. I will tell people from now on. <laughs> don't get a cheap bed. Just save your money. Get a nice bed. Right. Same as the mattress. Yeah, get a good mattress. We learned that too. We got a good mattress now, and yeah, it's great. Whole world of just waking up. Feeling refreshed, waking up in the yeah. same spot, yeah. like not sinking into the mattress, <laughs> not waking up hurting. It's just like it, she is. I pregnant. am pregnant, and I don't even like. I had to get like a pregnancy pillow for both. All, yeah, all the pregnancies before, but I didn't even need one. So the memory foam, the memory like foam the, does its job. The, don't get the full foam. Get the hybrid. It's gonna cost a little bit more, but the, it gives you that support you need. Where you don't feel like you're just sinking into a foam pit. Yeah, it feels good. It feels great. Yeah, but we're back, man. Uh, A lot (laughs) has happened since our last show. Um, Off the top of my head, you know, I think the week we were supposed to go talk about LSU winning the championship was the last thing. So, Mm -hmm. LSU won. You know, we're big. Well, I'm a big LSU women's basketball. I mean, (laughs) I think the whole thing in a nutshell – you know, just seeing how it played out in the media, the whole black versus that white thing. It, it was just so crazy to see. Like that's crazy. Literally like a black versus white, like I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. it. It just was like weird to see, but that happened. Um yeah, I mean it was some other stuff. I can't really remember. Oh, oh, the whole thing with the verification, like people mm, were paying for yeah, blue checks. That we were gonna sad. talk about that. Like um, honestly, I will say this. This is how I feel about the verification, everything. Because I think it's on Twitter, Facebook, everybody. Uh, you can oh, get you verified. Oh, you can buy it on Twitter Yeah. yeah. Um, so some people were upset. Like, hey, I worked hard to get verified. <laughs> and I'm sitting there saying, how did you work hard to, to be your verified as you? Like, or why would that be you your goal? Yeah. I think the blue check meant that you just have reached like a status and like now everybody has it. So you feel you're worth it. I like it. Yeah. And I'm like, you should, that That's shouldn't not bother what, you. Yeah. Cause honestly, to me, I feel like blue checks in general were for to, to so you verify know, you literally. You know that like you are verified. This is a real person. Because yeah. that person can, whether. Which is very important. Cause even, even on a small scale. Yeah. Business. Like you'll see, thank you. Like a lot of, Especially like during COVID, mm-hmm. they went through and started verifying a lot of like doctors who were really doctors, yeah. and like hospitals were re- like they had maybe like a hundred, five hundred followers, but you wanted to make sure that we this knew. was a hospital saying yeah. this, or if somebody's selling something, a product, mm-hmm. a book, a uh, food, yeah. you want to make sure that they're verified. Right. Honestly, I liked. I wish that everybody on social media could only have one account right. that you knew was them. And that's it. And no, it bots, some, no, no bots. No bots. None of that creepy spam, stuff. Spam. Like, uh, s- I don't know. I didn't have a problem with I it, but like I it. also didn't have a blue check. So, but like most <laughs> of the people I, you know, I have a lot of friends, especially like on the music side, who had blue checks before this and they don't really care. Yeah. It's like a certain type of people that care. It's really the influencers. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The people who felt like a blue check made them higher than what they are and it really didn't because it's just, I mean, like I could, I could go apply for a blue check because people keep making fake accounts of me. Right. Like, so it's that, it's really just to verify yourself. The thing was, you always could have, this is not, 
You always yeah. survive. <laughs> Matter of fact, if you made your Instagram a business page, you yeah. can like upload the 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 tax ID and stuff and apply for the blue verification check. I only know that because I, you know, I used to do media sales mm-hmm. and we would, would take, you know, we would uh, kind of run companies things. That's one of the first things we would do mm-hmm. is try to get them verified that this is the actual company or store, like get it verified. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Verif- I mean, I, <laughs> only, only reason I would say I would care about a verification if somebody was like using my yeah. name, image, or likeness mm-hmm. to like scam people, yeah, like because that's Cause annoying. I, we see it a lot, especially yeah. like uh, all the time. The one that was getting a lot of people was when like somebody will they were making like copies of like rappers' page and be like, hey, you know, you'll have like a big rapper. I I don't know, Lil Boosie. It'll be like a fake Lil Boosie page or uh, whatever, and they'll reach out to like a smaller artist, like, hey, yeah. I'm doing a mixtape. You can give me a thousand, I'll put you on the mixtape. Yeah. And like they was getting people bad with that. Like And so, all, I know a lot of Christian they get like Chris, pastors. Oh yeah, pastors. Oh my God, oh, ministers. So oh my, my God. Uh, they really it's bad. Like they get them fact, bad. Since, since you want to go there. <laughs> they get them terribly. Since you want to go there, uh <laughs> we this is not gonna be a long episode. We just kinda uh catching up. not even catching up. Yeah, catching up, but kind of just, you know, obviously you being prego, me. Not being prego, but making sure everything's good, <laughs> waiting to get the set, you know, it was kind of whatever. But I do want to speak about, um, I don't like the trend. Um, I don't want to say the Christian influencer, mm. but like the aesthetic of, of that Christianity. Christianity. Yeah. Like everybody is just like using it to be trendy. It's kind of aggravating. Yeah. It's, it's kind of. Even though I do cringy. like the gospel being spread, I do like positivity yeah i just don't like you know people oh uh, because that was a whole thing where like sometimes you'll see people will say like oh this artist is making a gospel record you'll just see like this <laughs> right it's like let people we don't we can protect the gospel without yeah. whatever but i just don't like how somebody you know will, they're shooting at everything like they're trying to do this um uh, business stuff they're doing this and they're like oh christianity let me try that yeah right because that's <laughs> trending let me Right. Hop on that wagon, like it's a wagon, like it's a bandwagon, like it's, it's just a, it's Chris, a real Chris, life thing. Christianity is a, is a real thing. Religion oh is a real thing. Yeah, um, and it's not a social not a pawn. Thing. It's not Jesus regardless is not of a pawn. your religion, um, regardless of what you believe in, it's serious. Yeah, you know, um, I think it's been proven over time that you know your spiritual well being is just as important as sometimes your physical. Like mm-hmm. it can really. If your mind and spirit are not good, you can affect your body. Yeah. So it's just, I don't too. want anybody to get off into the wrong thing or like chasing a trend and then right. be like really messed up. So yeah. yeah. Or just believe in anybody and just trust in anybody, you know, with their religion, like and with their um spiritual side of things. Like right. cause it's nothing to play with. Like it's, it's really, really not. Nothing. And like for me, uh, I know um, it's two two things I really don't like, and I actually made a post about it. I don't like church TikToks. Like they make me cringe. Like, <laughs> he, like I can't. The pastor walking from his uh study, his or her study, all the way to the front of the church and kind of recording that walk every Sunday. Yeah, like it's, it's a the walk most out. Cringe. Like like a basketball the, player. <laughs> me growing up in church, some of the TikToks they're doing are just like. Super cringe. Like I, I don't like. He's like, why? I hate, I hate it for him. I'm just like, I uh, agree though for real because like you, you might not like that. And I, there's certain TikToks or like videos, reels, and stuff like that based off Christianity that I just feel like is the most corniest thing ever. And like, super. why are we doing this? Like, it's not funny. <laughs> like, it's not funny. It's, it's not, not cute. Like this so, is. I mean, it, not, some of them. Like there are. I think the funny. There are funny things ones happen in church. Yes. But I feel like nah. those things, when I see TikToks of those or, you know, yeah. reels or whatever, yeah. that's hilarious. But the ones where it's like, like I said, mm-hmm. like the walk-in or... Um, like it was when people try... Sometimes when people are making a video and they try to make it funny and it's really not a funny situation. It's like, not. 
it gotta be funny already. You yeah, know, like let, let if it happened in like church it. and I'm laughing, okay, it's funny already. Then you can go make a video. Like, I have no. I'm not one of the people <laughs> who's like never laugh at stuff in church. No, oh, no. church <laughs> stuff is funny. Especially like, when you grew up in church, you ain't got no tr- like. It's gonna be funny. It's certain stuff that we it's all some stuff. know if you grew up in church. Like we all, like right yeah. now, I say second service, evening service. We all yeah. can picture growing up what that looked like, what that evening service looked like, what it looked like going to, back to church, hungry, tired. Mm. But you can smell the food cooking. Mm-hmm. You, you can, can talk th- about, you can laugh about night watch, like night service uh, for, yeah, you know, for the New Year's. You can laugh service. about Come uh, on. mean ushers. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can laugh about praise, they shout. It's so many. You like, can laugh about kids crying. Kids like. Crying. It just- <laughs> Pastor is saying, "Oh, I'm almost done, and not yeah. being almost like almost, it's yeah, right, right. Things that <laughs> come on, we know, but some yeah. stuff is just like come on. Some stuff not, is like, have you? That's not, not <laughs> that's it. not it. That's you not know? It. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. That's just something I've been seeing a lot. Just kind of pick yeah. up, but it, I get it. It's a trend. I, I'm not the person who hate. Who's like some people do. Like that's what social media has become." Yeah. Like and always I think kinda has been. It's been like what's trending, talk about it or do it. So right. I can't be like the old guy like, oh I don't like you know, I, just, <laughs> I get what it is. Yeah. Um Yeah, so as we already said once, though Dom is pregnant, we still don't have a baby name. Still don't. Um nobody can believe that. And I don't know why, guys. Remember it. Major didn't have a name. We don't even want uh, a <laughs> lot of people have been Asking like y'all not doing a shower and all yeah. that. Like my sister is like throwing us a virtual shower. Uh, <laughs> shout out to her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was to the point where I was like, I don't need another party. For, like, like <laughs> at this point, I'm just gonna be real with people. <laughs> we just need the if you want to give us something. Yeah, it's like hey. Just the diapers and wipes. Yeah, like, those are the two like, things that just slap us in the face all the time. It's <laughs> like. You know, you just always need that. You always need that. You like, never can have enough, you like, know? Yeah, we, so, like, some of the stuff, Diapers like, and wipes, like... I mean, some of the stuff we we just go get for ourselves. Yeah. Like, you know... We learned with Journey what we needed and what we didn't need, honestly. I learned with Major. Like, from Major to Journey. What, no, I don't... I mean, like, whenever we did become minimalist and it worked for Journey. Yeah, yeah. Like, it actually worked for Journey. Like, Major is when we realized, oh, wow, we don't need it, but Journey is when we put it in effect. Like, we really yeah. did... The minimal, like, and she had everything she needed. Yeah, and by minimal, so, we just got what she what needed. needed. Literally, like, <laughs> literally what she needed: diapers, wipes, a few clothes. And um, we got her the appropriate bedside. Yes, bed that, it lasted like, her. Transitioned her perfectly. Mm-hmm. We got her a crib when it was time, and now yeah. she doesn't even sleep in here. Yeah, she sleep, Yeah, she sleeps so, in a big bed. Um, honestly, like right now, like still, I. It's like I know I have a baby coming, <laughs> and I know it ain't hit you yet. No, it hit me. It's just like <laughs> it's like because I've just done it. I don't have the worry that I used to have. You know what I'm saying? Like when I had major, yeah. I was like scared. Oh my life. god, he was on 25, y'all. I was like scared. That boy um, was doing I, I like was researching worried. stuff every day. Like you need to I chill. Was, is how. <laughs> and then with journey, I was scared because it was a girl. So yeah. I was like, oh, what? A, but then it's like now it's like I'm really. Not because I know what to expect. Like I yeah. know what the first week looked like. I saw mm-hmm. it twice already. I yeah. know what the first few months look like, or what to expect. Or yeah. you kind of you're prepared mentally based off what you've been through. Right. Like, and that's why I got super pissed off. <laughs> I, there's a caption I've been seeing a lot <laughs> approaching mm. Mother's Day about mothers being the only the 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 uh, twenty. It's like. Basically, the standard is like mothers are the only ones who know what twenty four seven means. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting there like a lot of people have been posting it, like our stuff like that. I know for a fact that twenty four seven, I'm either taking care of the kids, <laughs> thinking about taking care of the kids, <laughs> doing something too, or just have take finished care. taking care of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like even when I'm asleep, I am dreaming about my kids' future or what we're doing next, yeah. and it's all. With them in mind, like I don't get a, yeah. I don't get to take a break from being a dad. Even right. even if I'm not with them, mm-hmm. especially me, like I'm, I would say I'm not overprotect, not overprotect. Ooh, I'm just child, like, y'all. I just know what my parents did <laughs> to keep. Like I was always safe. 
Yeah. Like, I always tell people my entire childhood, I was always safe. I never was put in a position where, mm. you know, I was um, put in a position to be a victim to anything. Yeah. And it's because my parents were meticulous and they were super OD about who I was with, where I was going, mm-hmm. how long I was going to be there. Like, they did a crazy good job of vetting out everything, yeah. whether it was family, friends, or whatever. Sometimes it was meaning that I couldn't go with certain family or I couldn't go to this. Yeah. But it's because they knew or had the fortitude to say, you might be put in a space where you can be, you know, victimized and become a victim. So I'm the same way with my kids. Like, I look at everything. Yeah. He does. Like, I don't care who it is or whatever. That's a fact. I look at it and say, <laughs> nah, I don't think they should do that. Or they're not doing it. Or they're doing it, but I'm going to go or you go go. Like, I don't mm-hmm. care just because you're a friend or just because you grew up with. With me yeah. or my nose, bro. Like, I got to see my kids straight. It's all across the board. Like, Yeah, it's consistent. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's crazy. I I just feel like it's very biased because, like, you know, you probably coming from a... I get it, though. You know, a, it's like two things, a single parent It's two things I expect side, every year for Mother's Day. Let's not I expect that. the post where it's like, I was the mama and the daddy. Yeah. No, you are an extremely overworked mother. Mm-hmm. You, you can't be... You can't be the mom and the dad. Yeah. You can step up. You can like do like work double overtime as a mom. You're an incredible mom. Yes. But you, this don't. Yeah. I always see people say like, you know, don't post it, but people still do. There's people who really feel like moms only know what it's like to be a parent 24 7. I know. And it's crazy. They feel like they don't even know what a real, um, you know, paternal, not paternal, but you know, father child relationship looks like so much so that they think when a dad posts a picture with his daughter It's perverted. It's like perverted. It. It's crazy. Like <laughs> it's crazy. Like I get that men have <laughs> sucked at times. Yeah. They have been terrible fathers, mm-hmm. terrible people. They have committed all types of just, you know, downright filthy, Things. violent stuff. But we cannot be that far gone where <laughs> A picture of a daughter, you know, hugging her father. People are like, red flag. Right. Oh, oh that's kind of weird. Like, I'm it, sitting there like it's just crazy, y'all, because like 11 year old hugging her dad yeah, is perverted. That's so crazy. Even when the little babies are like, their daddy holding them. Like, Journey loves her daddy, y'all. Like, she will go fall asleep on her daddy. Like, that is just is what it is. She'll go to him first. And it's, like, so crazy because it's, like, you know, people literally will, like, look look at her just embracing her dad, like, being in the most comfortable place she could be, most safest place in her mind that she could be. And people will look at that and, like, twist that up and think it's that's weird crazy. Because, like, you know? like, remember we saw that. So, if you didn't see, I'll try to find it. It'll be pretty hard. But there was a girl who posted, Basically, she posts a screenshot of her dad sending her money mm, after yeah. she sent him a picture of, you know, basically just, just got her hair done, mm-hmm. her makeup done. The dad sends back, you know, the hard eyes and here's some money. And everybody's like, the girl's like 17, 18. Why did he do that? They're like, why, why is your dad doing that? That's why is he weird. asking for why pictures? For picture? What? And so the girl had to literally explain, hey, I told my dad I just got my hair and makeup done. He wanted to see it and then he paid for it when he saw it. Why are y'all perverting my dad for asking for a picture? <laughs> for being a, and for being a, um, what's That's how I realized that we really have a problem. Yeah, like, I wish terrible. we could have like and a group sad. therapy session yeah. and get past it. Cause I mean, there is some mm-hmm. valid, valid points. It is, but There's like, some valid points. I just felt like people it, have experienced, like, I don't want to, you know, shoo shoo anybody's real life experience. Like, some people, had abusive fathers, had absent fathers, or whatever. So I know what you're feeling is real. But I'm saying, you, your experience, I, I hate when people, I don't hate, I just don't like when they can't see past their own experience. Yeah. And they project it on Absolutely. other people. Like, you had a valid experience. Yeah. You are 100%, you know, whatever happened, it happened. It, real life happened. All but right. don't project that on me. Or right. whoever, because you know, like you know, you see it all the time. Like people, I don't know how you can get married young. Like oh, blah, yeah, blah, blah. it's so aggravating, bro. And I'm sitting there like that. 
That's your truth for you. <laughs> yeah, like that's your bro. Like I, thoughts, okay. I got married young, and like it was. I'm glad I did because I would hate to be dating right now. Bro, me too. And bro. I'm not saying for y'all single people. I just I Man. hear the stuff that goes on Sheesh. now. Man, you, one, you got to worry about people trying to rob you or kill you. You mm. got to worry about diseases. You got to worry about God. Like it's just every. Everybody's scamming nowadays. Yeah. Everybody's trying to, uh, you know, steal people. Yeah. You don't know. Like, are you even safe to date? You know, people yeah. walking up to your fancy restaurants robbing you. Like, yeah, it, bro, like, what are we doing? So, nah, I I just hate that sometimes one dads get this, like, Terrible it's stuff. always around Mother's Day. And my thing is, like, we act like people there are not million, billions of people in this world okay there are not healthy marriages healthy fathers like healthy father daughter relationships healthy father son relationships like we act I like don't, we don't see it though yeah I it's will, a lot of them like there's people in different countries we don't even see y'all like they have real, great example, relationships They're there are a lot of podcasts like ours yeah where we promote healthy. positive healthy dialogue around relationships around life around kids family and parenting yeah. but what do we constantly see go viral or trend the ratchetness yeah. the uh, you know i want to the drama the four dudes tonight and blah 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 yeah. you know 50 50 50 now but never and we yeah. see those those are the moments that go viral it's never so it's you never the, I, if you keep seeing something you go think, uplifting it's everything yeah. you know i i see some you know, I'm just scrolling all the time, and I get I get attacked by <laughs> the interview on the street. I don't want to see them. I literally <laughs> yeah, yeah, show always less, see show them. less, and I'm always getting attacked by people interviewing random people on in the, the store, street. the street, asking the dumbest stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to see this, but it's all I see. Yeah. So if I'm if I was younger, I'd be like, bro, this this how everybody think. Like, golly, like yeah, it's like everybody's doing this. So I get it. It's a group thinking. A lot of people think or see that you know a lot of women are struggling. They single parents. They dealing with baby daddies. They dealing with this, and they just kind of go along with the group thing. Like, oh yeah, yeah, it's everybody. It's or it's a generalization. Like, you know, yeah, it always is around Mother's Day. It's like all the oh, time, and that's how I be. I be like, I like to talk about that. Like, um, once being like being a baby mom and like being single, a single parent. And how different my mindset was because it's so against the grain. If you would think about the people, like the mindset that is being pushed through the media of a baby mom and a baby daddy relationship and their future, basically, like my mindset, it was completely different from that. Like I once let go, like that was it. You know, I never, I never held anything against them. I never did anything like malicious to anybody. You know, it just was like I moved on for me, and you don't see that you know today like you see they push like oh you need to be arguing you need to be like forcing him to do something you need to be like stuck on him trying to make your relationship work like you you know like it's just it forces toxicity on people like people don't even realize you know there's there's people who have moved on from that and you can too you know so people don't realize that everything there's no cookie cutter yeah answer for that's it like certain principles work. <laughs> yeah. But some stuff you will have to tailor for, for you. For whatever you're dealing with. Like yeah. with us, I think people would be like, what? Like you do what? Like I it's rare that Dominique cooks for me. It's rare that Dominique <laughs> washes my clothes. She <laughs> yeah. folds all the clothes. Yeah. Now she that she will fold the clothes. Yeah. But I'm just going down like gender roles. Like it's rare that um she irons my clothes. I know. It's, I don't iron his clothes. It's I'm just rare gonna be that, um <laughs> Like, I wash my own clothes. I get my stuff. He cooks his own food. I cook my own food. Yeah. I was laughing. I had put that one day on a TikTok. And, like, people were like, oh, my God. Dude, how? Like, you're so lucky. Like, how does... Why does your husband let you do that? Like, and I'm like, bro, my husband is... We just have... My well, husband one, is pescatarian, let's keep, it, let's, keep it, let's keep it real. One, and that's what I tell people. Like, especially when I hear people talk about, like, the 50-50 thing. I'm like... Prior to getting a girlfriend or whatever, <laughs> you should know how to do. It. You have to survive. Like you yeah. have to cook clean, wash yourself, <laughs> well, keep yourself clean. So why would that stop just because I got was that's that was always my mindset. Like yeah. I take care of myself first. Like yeah. So why if I add someone to my 
life, life will I stop taking care of myself? Like, I never got that concept. Right. I don't know. Like, I think that's so weird to me because it's like almost like you putting everything in one person's hand, you know? But, I mean, I get it. I understand maybe back in the day, whatever. Yeah, but I was like, about to say back I'm talking about day. now because, yeah, like, most like, people that's why I put, be on their own. People be saying, like, uh, my grandmother would never okay. let my dad touch, <laughs> grandfather touch a dish. Yeah. But, like, also, your grandfather worked from six to six, you know? Like, All right, from the time he was 10. Like yeah, he, like, like my dad started working all at 12. He how to work. All he know how to do it. 12 hours work. a day. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah, he didn't have the energy to Shoot. come home. And, all he know how to do is yeah. work. So, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't but know. But nowadays, I'm like, you don't, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't take care of yourself, my dude? I don't know. Yeah, that's so crazy. I'm just thinking about that. Like, that's really, like, a lot. Um, But, like, like JT said, you know, it's just whatever works for you. Like, you can't just be like... Oh yeah, like like down to somebody else because that works for their relationship. Like we ain't got a problem with it. You shouldn't have a problem with it. Like you know, and vice versa. So yeah, that's crazy. But <sighs> it's something new. So um, last thing for me is um, I'm getting into a season in my life where I just love that word season. Ah, okay. <laughs> Like, you don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> I don't I know, but I just love that word seasons. It just means don't give up, y'all. Seasons. It, okay, life well, is now about I can't seasons. say what I want to say because I was sorry, I'm sorry. literally about to roast you for five minutes. Well, you can still roast me, babe. No, now you, you made it spiritual. <laughs> well, we could come back to earth and be for real and be like physical. Let's get physical. <laughs> Now you can roast me. This is the perfect time for you to roast me. It's like okay, yeah. So I'm, I'm getting a season of my life where <laughs> I am irked by the way <laughs> my wife operates when it comes to like I don't know how to phrase this correctly, but this homey life, like <laughs> just randomly going to like stores and buying like stainless steel cleaner and. <laughs> Random flower pots and candles <laughs> and random. It's just like I'm living with a 30, 38, 40 year old woman. It's just so weird. Um, yeah. He, so we're in this weird season where I don't know if this is what people do. <laughs> they turn 28, 29. I, I don't know. They start going to Home Goods. Or, no, I just feel like I don't know. I feel like <laughs> I don't know. It is a different season, though. It really is, y'all. Because I never, never seen, did this I've stuff. Like, 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 I've never did this stuff. I, like, I get mad for him because he, like, was, like, picked out decorations. And I'm like, I did, yeah, why, like, why I did you pick that out? Like, I don't I, know. I wanted to pick out why the decorations. Why <laughs> don't turn in 20, 29 or whatever. You're turning into Martha Stewart. I don't know. I don't know. know. It's so weird. And, like, candles. Like, I just feel like we have to have a candle in oh, every we room. we always had candles. We, yeah, JT really did always have candles. But, like, I feel like it just act, it just make, has the perfect accent per room. It's just the perfect accent per room. And then, also, I'm just always, like, hmm, how can I make our home, home more homey? You know, like, what else can I do? You know, like, I'm constantly always thinking about rugs. So, yeah, I love rugs. Um, you know, and I just feel like, what can I put on the wall? You know, uh, like, like I just, I had texted JT random and I was like, oh, they have mirrors on sale. He was like, okay. Yeah, like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I need you to get them so I could put it up. He was like, you're not putting that up. I'm like. Yeah, like, it's I just thought, to the okay. point where it's like, <laughs> what are we doing here? Like, we're. <laughs> We're twenties. We're not twenties. We're not fifty. Like, yeah, maybe I guess it's probably because I'm always watching like parents and stuff. Stop. Like that. And they are like literally. Stop. You're being influenced, and I don't. Like no, it. it's not. A, it's a good influence because stop watching white. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, keep that in. No, but it's really funny though because like this. That's another thing that I really think we should talk about too. Like no, we shouldn't. No, okay. Just stop watching. Those. No, I'm just talking about like people who you you know you look at these people and you just love their you know you 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 see these influencers and all these people with their kids and everything and their life is just like wow they just got it all under control, and then they see their age, and they're like fifteen to twenty years older than you and you're like wow, look at me, girl you're on the right track you know like are. Well, stay on your track and stop <laughs> hopping into their lane. Oh, because it's just fun. What am I supposed to do? Draw? You want me to like draw in a book or something? Like that is my way of creating. Oh, I want you to sit at home and listen to who? Who's out right now? 
Ice Spice. And, Absolutely and, not. I'm now that's where I draw the line because I'm not. But I, what I can do is play some Maxwell. All right. <laughs> so this has been another episode of Pill Talking Podcast. Uh, thank you all. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate it. We do. Um, oh, last thing, last thing. You can clip this. Put this out. Dominique has slowly but surely. What I did. So what did I do? Very. I've been working on this, planting the seeds, <laughs> really caressing this sports <laughs> fandom in her. Oh my god! Now goodness. it took six years, <laughs> but guess who is asking me when the next playoff game? Oh is? my god! I'm embarrassed. Guess who wants to sit and watch the Lakers it's the basketball? Enemy. It's the far. Guess who enemy. wants to watch the Warriors? <laughs> guess who wants to watch Jimmy buckets? Guess who wants what to watch? John Moran. I, John Moran. I did ask about that. <laughs> Dominique. Miss, I don't know why you sit there and watch sports. Guess who's watching sports now? All right. Guess who gets it? I mean, he kind of literally like coerced me to do that. Like, I, do I have a choice? Let's just be real. No. He's watching sports. So what I'm going to do? Go chill and watch sports too, right? It's entertaining. It's a lot of backstories. I mean, I just like because cause the drama behind it really do be a lot. That's, that's why I asked about job because I'm like, boy, is this boy playing or that's not? I'm trying to tell you, like women, <laughs> it's don't too work. much. So that's why I be trying to tell. <laughs> if you if you have a man that watches sports, start even if you hate the physical, like oh my god, like I can't stand basketball, or whatever. <laughs> find out about the drama, like. Oh, he, he really got traded from them. They beefing. Like, get, dude, that's what y'all like anyway. It's drama and sports. What's crazy is they really have drama. It's like a soap opera. It's like, yep. are, are y'all serious? So that's the. That's <laughs> they be the fussing hack. on the court. Find are y'all drama, for real? Find a drama. Get into it. Like, Draymond. Y'all go too old for next? that. Like, that's foolishness. <laughs> right. Anyway, that's it. Thank y'all for listening. Hope y'all like the new set. We're yeah, not guys, done. Yet. We're not done. I want to put like some LED pillow talking. Oh my goodness! Okay. Isn't that funny? I hope it's really like yeah, I hope it's be movable yeah, because yeah. that's a little awkward. Like yeah. going to bed every day and on the set, literally. Yep. <laughs> but yeah. So have a good night. Good night, guys.